was I was I your first choice to be on the on the show tonight? Of course, buddy. We love having you on. Yeah, I, I couldn't help but notice the uh, the sign outside my door. It's, it says uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, I can explain that. Scarlett right. Johansson is the name of the room. Right. Yeah, yeah. We, we named all the rooms, uh, the dressing rooms, after celebrities that I fantasize about. Okay. Well, really? What's what's your then? What's your dressing room called? Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay. Okay. But uh, the, the thing is, I also found this card, and it says, "Thanks for coming on the show, Scarlett." And then you uh, you you also drew like a uh, like a massive set of uh, of female breasts. Well, I can explain that. Um, What's that? Uh, give, give me a minute. Listen, don't you don't have to you don't have to lie to me. You know, I worked really hard to get where I am, and I consider it a big honor to be on your show. And I don't I don't know. Am I like, crying now? It's stupid. No, 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 no. no. It's, 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 come on, buddy. I, I'll be honest. There, there was a bit of a mix-up uh, with the book and uh, Jonah Johansson. You know, it sounds kind of similar. Uh, oh. You should probably change change your name. How, how about uh, how about Scooter Scooter? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you think about it. The whole mix-up thing is kind of funny. <laughs> Laugh about it with me. Come on. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, all right. Well, I, I guess it is a little funny. It's yeah. like, <laughs> why does my gift bag have this pair of panties inside, right? <laughs> yes. Actually, that that's not a mix-up. No, no. I I got I got these uh, I got these for you. Uh, uh, put them on. Put them on. Howdy. Don't, don't tell me what I wear. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put them on. That's Put them on. No. Please welcome the lovely Jonah Hill, everybody. Jonah Hill. Good. Congratulations on being in such an awesome movie, Thanks. by the way. Are you going to mention that you're in the movie as oh, well? Oh, I forgot I yeah. was in the movie, but yeah. 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 That's why you said... Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's The why actors were so great. Yeah, yeah. But uh, did you wear that thing I gave you? Uh, no, no. I, um, I'm going to wear it um, to my uncle's birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the best. What have you been doing? Uh, well, I'm <laughs> just, you know, trying to fill time between yeah. commercials. <laughs> they have commercial breaks, and then I try and fill time in between. Yeah. Uh, just hang out with these lovely people. Yeah. Well, yeah. actually, they're hired hobos. Yeah. <laughs> There's a real hobo vibe in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's where we get the authentic <laughs> urinary yeah. smell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever ride the rails? Did you ever ride the rails? Did you ever, you know, ride the rails? What's ride the rails? <laughs> you know, the whole whole life, traveling oh, around America. Oh, the railroads. Yeah, yeah. No, I just, I don't know. No. Not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I've just been working on my tan, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's sort of. Yeah, you kind of. You were born here, grew up here, and just kind of like stayed here, right? I grew up here, yeah, and I've been tanning for most of my life. Tanning, yeah. That's sort of. Uh, oh, hey, I'm gonna tell I'm you. <laughs> you know, in the movie, like you play. Look, they have action figure for that. The oh dude that God. you play in the movie. Look. I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, look, there it is. I'm that's, an action figure. Look, and there's your there's wow. your little uh, thing. Yeah. That is the coolest thing ever. No, you know what? Actually, I'm an action figure. Actually, that is, that's crazy. I've never been an action I, figure. I told obviously, you not to applaud. Before. Why the hell are you applauding? Yeah. Actually, yeah. it's the second co coolest thing ever. Cause look, there's an action figure of my character. Whoa. For the movie. Yeah, look. So you want? Yeah, thanks for not applauding. My, and, uh, my, I don't want to be weird, but my guy is like more handsome than your guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah, look. but look, my guy can like. <laughs> Your guy in in the gay community would be like a bear. That's right, yeah. yeah. Let's do a play. Yeah. Let's and do a my, play with them, right? Put the camera My guy on would be like a twink. Yeah, okay. Let's yeah. have them meet in a bar, right? You do right. you do your guy, don't do mine. We'll okay. do a little play, right? Hey, huh? what's up, man? <laughs> hey, uh, how you doing? Um, I just uh, came in from uh, Culver City. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, 
Well, okay. Well, what's what, what are you doing in Culver City, Dress? Uh, yeah, well, I was at a, um, a convention. Yeah, what kind uh, of convention? Viking. A Viking convention? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. Do you do you uh, do you do you want to go see Greenberg with me later? Is that the one with Ben Stiller? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I love that guy. I've already seen it. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, you want to see it again? I figure we're dressed up as Vikings. You might as well go see an awesome, artsy, hilarious movie. Yeah, I, I guess. Hey, did you see that movie with <laughs> Matt Damon in it? Which one? Green Zone? No, the other one. Which one? Uh, <laughs> You know There's that? only one Matt Damon hat movie out right now. <laughs> oh, no, this, this one was yeah. a few years ago. Oh, oh. School Ties? Sure. Okay. <laughs> you guys ever seen School Ties? No, I never saw School Ties. It's so like, I'll, I'll it, do you want to keep that? Yeah, I do. I, yeah, of course yeah, I, I do. Yeah. I'm going to keep no, that. No, it's cool. I don't want my action figure Yeah, no, isn't that awesome? Voice. Yeah, no, I really love it. Yeah, I'm going to um, actually... I actually did see Greenberg, and it was awesome. I was That wasn't like a joke about Greenberg. I was just thought it was funny because they were dressed yeah, no, as Vikings. I, no, I, no, that's all right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'll plug that movie because it was well, awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you guys should see that, too, after you see How to Train Yeah, Yeah, if you need to... <laughs> What is, what's Greenberg about then? <laughs> Greenberg, well, oh, let me tell you about Greenberg. Right, right. Greenberg is about uh, Ben Stiller is a guy and like, you know, he's kind of uh, having a, uh, he's like in his 40s and he uh, kind of has nothing going on in his life and he goes to stay. It's like me, it's my story. Exactly, yeah. You're going to love it. You're yeah, going to love yeah. it. I think it's hilarious that I'm promoting a movie I have nothing to do with that I just like. Yeah. You should that's also go see uh, Star Wars because that's an awesome yeah. movie too. And uh, these people are just happy to be indoors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> these hobos don't care about anything. Nah, they're, they're just, as long as it ain't moving and there's a roof, they're I, happy. I've never been in a crowd with so many sticks with little bandanas attached yeah, to that's the right, end. Yeah, the, yeah. Little handkerchiefs yeah. on the. Uh, you never, you never uh, did that. Never fancied that life, the life of a transient. Hobo life? Yeah. No. What would you do if you went into the acting, though? What about, you know, kung fu or something? Yeah, I'd say I'd either do kung fu. I, I, bet, if, I bet if I wasn't an actor, I would probably be... I would try and be a photographer. That's what I would try and be do. Be a photographer? But like I'd a paparazzi or an arty one? Um, I'd be a paparazzi member <laughs> if I could. <laughs> I've just always seen that seems like a very dignified yeah, lifestyle. Yeah. And, uh, that's, the, that's the classy yeah. job to get it's into like now. It's like any yeah. Leibowitz or paparazzi yeah, person. No. It's kind of hard paparazzi to tell. Paparazzi is the way to go because everybody yeah. respects you if you're a paparazzi. Yeah. <laughs> it's the closest thing you could, like, you can come to being like an actual like dog or animal or something <laughs> while still holding down a job and being a member of society. Yeah. Like, well, you mean because they take craps in the street? Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. I, I, I have a story. Uh, I, I was walking. Um, I actually went to the premiere of Greenberg. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't work for Greenberg. Yeah, right, How to sorry. Train Your Dragon is what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah. It's an oh, awesome movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. How okay. to Train Your Dragon. Yeah. Uh, hey. Tree, yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, Go yeah. see hey, How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah. Okay, but the point is, I went and I was walking down, there was these paparazzi guys, and this one guy goes, Hey, Jonah, who are you... Uh, who are you rooting for in the, in the WWF WrestleMania or whatever? And I was like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I haven't watched since I was like a kid. And he just turned off the camera and went, Damn it. <laughs> Like I <laughs> totally blew his night because he's like, I came here to get a WWF quote from Jonah Hill. Like, what the hell? Why would you assume that I knew yeah, that? You yeah. know? Well, you did let him down, though. To be fair, I though. did. Yeah, you I know, did. like those like bright lights, like the light flicked off. He was like all happy and nice, and he turned on the camera. Damn it! And he just turned and walked out on the other. But end they of the do street. that when you do. That. See, I very rarely go to any of them Hollywood premieres because I, yeah. I don't get invited. But when I went yeah. there. I, I knew to, that about you. Yeah, I, I knew that. I don't, I don't. They're like, no, we yeah. don't have him. Yeah. But, the, uh, <laughs> but I went to the How to Train Your Dragon one. We were, I saw you there. Right? And yeah. the, all the people are there, the paparazzis on the red yeah. carpet and everything. And I was trying to do that thing, looking over my shoulder that yeah. all the women do. Yeah. You so, looked great. Thanks, man. And, um, <laughs> and I, I had pants on and everything. Yeah. <laughs> You were fully wearing pants. You know, I congrats. Did, on did you that. do what I did? Because I was going, and I was like, I never go to these, so I like yeah. tried on a shirt and went, nah, and then tried on a different shirt and went, nah. You like, did. Yeah, yeah. You like fully. You... And then I settled on what I was wearing. So yeah. You can only imagine how bad it was. <laughs> yeah.
But they ask you stuff yeah. that you get nothing. Like this guy goes to me, hey, what do you think about Tiger Woods? And I went, oh, yeah. wait, what, what? I'm going to see a movie with my kid. We don't want to talk about Tiger Woods to you. <laughs> right. And he's like, I, I, I was like, why are you asking me that now? And he yeah. said, well, it's a movie premiere. Well, what do you think about it? I don't. <laughs> I think that I... Not to put you on the spot. No, no, no. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I think about Tiger Woods. Yeah. I think now that he's got time to practice, he's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because he, he, before he clearly wasn't practicing. He was yeah. just, you know, so... Yeah. 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 Do you do you play golf? <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, I I I uh I'm I'm going to take a lesson though. My brother and my dad play golf. I hear it's a really hard sport. I don't know. Curling's the harder one. Yeah. Well, I, I um, I was trying to think of questions that were really weird that I got asked at that premiere. Did you get asked any other weird ones? Nah. Somebody asked me where where did I think I was going. Yeah. Like, but that wasn't the. That was a. An usher at the movie, he was like, where, where do you think you're going? I said, I, I'm, I'm in the movie. He went, it's yeah. an animated movie. I said, I'm a voice in the movie. Well, you know Jay Baruchel, Jay Baruchel who's in How to Train Your Dragon, Yeah, he was awesome. here last night, yeah. yeah. You, should you guys could go see it. They, uh, they, uh, they were like, you and Jay have worked together like five or six times. And Jay and I were knocked up together. We were two of the buddies who live in the house, and we've been in How to Train Your Dragon. And I was like, no, no, just uh, knocked up in How to Train Your Dragon. They're like, mm. I think you guys have worked together like five or six times now. And I was like... Did you think you were lying? And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure. Like, I, I, I know, you know. We've only worked together twice. And they're like... And then the, 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 the camera, like, kind of... Like, she gets off the mic. She's like, just say, like, you've worked with Jay like five or six times. Really? But, yeah. It says here you've worked like five or six times with Jay. They wanted you to lie? Yeah, and I was just like, uh... Yeah, so Jay and I worked together like five or six times. <laughs> I was like, however I can get through this weird interview yeah, yeah, as quickly as possible. Hey, we're done. We're done. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're out, no, no, we're out of time. No, seriously, you and I are out of time. Oh, we are? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Quick, quick let's plug a movie quickly. Sorry. Get, get your little, quick, get your, your guy going. Oh, quick. okay, cool. All right. How to Train Your Dragon, everybody. Go see How to Train Your Dragon on Friday. Craig, is you're hilarious in it. Yeah, in jo it. Jonah, Jonah's good too, I suppose. <laughs> How's it going? You look great. Look, I, you look great. I know. Yeah, I mean. I know. Do you, I, I mean, know. you look. I'm really. Uh, what, what have you done? I, uh, I, I, I don't know. You lose a little I weight. No, I, I lost uh, one pound. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it was no. a big one, though. It was a big one. It weighed a lot. Wait, you, I, um, the last time I saw you, we were doing the press for I Train Your Dragon. I Train Your Dragon. Yeah. And I remember looking at you and thinking, well, I give him a couple of months. Oh, oh man. No, cool. I just, I'm, just, I, I'm being honest. <laughs> All right, all right, fair. No, yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I, well, I wasn't thinking that. I know, but, I but, you know, you, you look yeah. terrific. Have you got, are you in a Kung Fu or something? I, uh, I've mastered Kung Fu. Nice. Yeah, well done. I, uh, I get into street fights all the time. Um, I just train, like I said, you can either have a trainer or you can um, just get into street fights with strangers all the time. Right. And I chose the, sh the street fight option. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just, I felt it would suit my lifestyle better. Mm -hmm. um, I like, I can't plan out a training session, but if I have five minutes, I can just get into a massive street fight. <laughs> with do you do you find that you ever lose these fights? Um, Almost 96% of the time, I would say, I, I lose that. And that's what keeps the weight off, is it? That and a, that and a, and a good attitude. And a good attitude. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of... Yeah. But, I mean, with the with your weight loss, you seem to have uh, changed your appearance. You you know, you're wearing a suit. I bought a suit. Yeah, and you're... Yeah, I did that. And, I, and you, got, you got your hair. I shaved. I, I shaved. Are you, are you selling Bibles anywhere? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm running for uh, U.S. president. What? I think you... And, and when I win, I'm not going to cause traffic everywhere that I go. I see, I didn't, I didn't know Can that. I tell you for real, I was just in New York. We've, I've been around the, the, the country promoting Moneyball. Right. I went to New York, and Obama was there. Right. And we were late everywhere that we went on the press tour because Obama was there. And I get back to L.A., I'm so excited to be rid of oh, this Obama traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man's here today. I had to leave my house like 
I wouldn't have voted for the guy had I known he'd be making me sit in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Well, these are the questions you've got to ask now at the early days of, the, of these debates when you're choosing the candidate. Where are, are you, you going to be when my movies come out? Yeah, exactly. I, I have to Can know. we coordinate our schedules before I vote for you so I yeah. don't have to be sitting in your traffic? Well, let me let me see. This, this movie is a huge success. I mean, it's a huge hit. It's, it's inc incredibly exciting. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, and it's about uh, baseball accountants? How, yeah. can that, how can it be successful? Uh, I, know, I know. Well, I said that Aaron Sorkin uh, and Steve Zalian wrote it. Aaron Sorkin wrote The Social Network and right. Steve Zalian wrote Schindler's List. Right. So when Aaron Sorkin wrote Social Network and I heard they were making a movie, that I go, okay, a movie about two nerds writing code for a website sounds like the most boring movie ever. And ever yet, made. and, and yet. yet, it's riv it's a riveting movie about like power and how that affects people. And uh, with Moneyball, when they sent me the book, I, I, I when I read the book and I and even the book, Michael Lewis's great book, Michael Lewis wrote The Blind Side. Right. I was like, how are they going to make this into a movie? I understand who the characters are and everything, but. Uh, when I got the script finally, I was like, oh my God, it's just a movie about underdogs and about being undervalued. And that's why it's such a powerful story. And, and it's good. You got, you got Brad Pitt in it right there. And they got Brad Pitt. But that, that helps a movie as well. You get Brad it does. Yeah. It does. I'll tell you, when, you're, when, you're, when, my, when a movie of mine's coming out and I'm just the star of it yeah. by myself, just say he's I'm, I'm terrified. No. Right? Man. Because then you have to hope that people will just go out and see you. Yeah. But then when you're the second lead and Brad Pitt's the first lead. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, because just, uh, you don't have to worry about anything. You're just like, oh, people like Brad Pitt. Oh, hey, he's Brad not Pitt. to like yeah, Brad yeah, Pitt. I mean, yeah. I, I'm straight, but I do Brad Pitt. Come on. Yeah. No, I've heard that you would. Oh, yeah. You yeah, told yeah. me, like, you're always outside of his house or uh, something. A little bit, yeah. I, like to, yeah. I just like to know where he is. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. all right. Uh, That's like, not weird. You that just want to know where he is. I like to know where yeah. Brad is at sure. all okay. times. Fair. No. Totally fair. Do you know, once I saw Brad Pitt in a Starbucks. Yeah. No, this is for real. For Really, at 6 o'clock in the morning, my wife and I were in a Starbucks in Malibu, yeah. and Brad Pitt was in there. And, like, I met him, uh, like, Hollywood crap. So I just right. went, like, oh, hey. And he was like, oh, hi. And then I went out, and my wife said, was that Brad Pitt? And I went, yeah. She went, what the hell is he doing in Starbucks at 6 o'clock in the morning? I said, he has six kids. Yeah. <laughs> and they got to drink coffee. Yeah. They got to get, nice get, get coffee for the kids. You got to get coffee yeah. for all the kids. No, you got to say, they don't make houses big enough to have six kids. And you're going to, I'll just go to Starbucks, honey. Yeah. And, and that's, so did you go to Starbucks with Brad Pitt? I uh, know, he didn't go to Starbucks. Well, what yeah. the hell, man? You're making me feel bad. Why yeah, not? Um... I don't know. Is that what spurred you on and kind of like the get fit thing and everything when you're looking at Brad Pitt and he's like doing crunches <laughs> and stuff? No, it wasn't the impetus for, for that. But I will say that when you start seeing the, the stills from the movie get back and it's you and him in the still, it does make you think like, yeah, yeah. damn, I got I to gotta get, get on my game. How do you think I feel with I got a robot? Look, yeah. it's a skeleton. <laughs> I'll say Jeff. How you doing, man? Hey, yeah. Jeff. Call me. <laughs> I like his hair the most. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, no, but 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 Brad, he uh, he he is the coolest dude. He's very handsome. But no then way. no matter but then no matter how hard you try, like I worked out real hard for for the premieres and all that stuff. I mean, like I've I've lost some weight. I get the pictures back from the premiere, and you still look like crap. Yeah, he's Brad Pitt, man. I know there's no winning. There's just no winning well, in that you know, scenario. Well, you know, set the bar a little lower. You know, yeah. do a movie with like Pauly Shore or something right. like that. <laughs> and then you do a movie with Pauly Shore. It's like you know, yeah. uh, Jonah Allen, Pauly Shore, and you know, like people go, well, people like Pauly Shore, so you've nothing to worry about. You'll go and see that, right. and then you know, you you don't have to worry. And then when you see the pictures, you go, man, I look awesome. Yeah, you go. <laughs> Oh, not I, the don't Shore, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I don't know why we're taking shots at Paulie Shore. I'm not now. taking the shot. I think he's a guy. I like think he's Paulie a gorgeous Shore. guy. Yeah, a Biodome is yeah. one of the greatest movies ever, man. You know, I. Uh, you're making a joke. I feel like right now, but when I was, I'm a young, I'm a, I'm a young man. When when Biodome came out, right, I was in like fifth or sixth grade. That would be the time. And I was, I loved it. I loved yeah. Biodome, and uh, Stephen Baldwin. Had like little like uh, like little dreadlocky little things? dreadlocky yeah, yeah, things, yeah. and I got those because I liked Stephen Baldwin in Biodome. You uh, that's just that's just a thing in life you, that happens. You wouldn't have any uh, photographs of that, would you? Uh, no, but I'm willing to do it again if it will make you happy. Do we have any? Kind Here's of the deal: Do we just remake Biodome, the two of us? Like, awesome. Is that I'll what the world's it, yeah. been waiting for? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Uh, when when Biodome came out, you were in fifth grade. I think I was. In jail. You're in but... jail? <laughs> That's right.
But you I, called me from jail. I did. That's why you I went were to like, jail for you were calling, like, you, calling fifth graders from jail. Yeah, you're uh, like, uh, you just cold calling fifth know, graders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, hey, I don't know you. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be a talk show host I'm one calling day. you from another country. <laughs> yeah. Get your hair done like Stephen Baldwin's. <laughs> So, where have you been? You've been promoting the movie all around. Did you not know have a vacation or anything this year? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna go, about to go to Atlanta to uh, to shoot a movie there. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow morning. You want to take a vacation with your new body? You want to go uh, surfing and stuff, and you know, yeah, show I'm, it off. Well, I'm going to Atlanta. I know. Atlanta is bad for surfing. Man. Yeah, is no. it not a big surfing place? No, no, the waves are. Yeah. yeah, the way it's just flat. flat. Very flat waves. Yeah. In that's probably good for me for starting out surfing. Well, that's true. If you're getting started, you probably just start on a pond. I want a wave like like this big. Right. That'd be like my ideal wave for surfing. Well, no, no. Have you never surfed? I surfed when we were making Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Uh, yeah. I, we were in Hawaii, and I went and surfed a bunch. And then we found out right after we left, uh, we had been surfing there every day. And then at our friend Lisa's house, the costume designer. And then she was like, you want to hear something crazy? I found out that the number one shark infested area of water in Hawaii is the water we were surfing in every day. And I was like carefree, surfing around, yeah. like it was nothing. And that was when you were a little heavier, so the shark would be like, mm. Yeah, I would have been tasty, tasty for a shark. Because now if you go surfing, the shark would be like, uh -huh. Yeah, he's yeah. got nothing but to work man. with. Then it you like Hawaii? It, it would have been, like been a good meal for the shark. Yeah, I, I like Hawaii. A yeah. friend of mine played a joke on me, though, that was funny, actually, just thinking about this. What? There, when we were there, I had never been, like, much for swimming around in the ocean. I had been in pools and stuff, but I hadn't mm -hmm. really, like, explored the ocean a lot. So we were learning how to surf, and we were, like, snorkeling and stuff. And so I never used a snorkel, and my friend Shauna was like, um, you should you should snorkel. And I was like, okay. I'm like, how does it work? She goes, you just go under as low as you can and look around at things and you can breathe with the snorkel on. <laughs> and so I went and I went all the way to the bottom of the ocean. And when I couldn't breathe anymore, I took in a huge breath of water and came up and was like choking. That's, she was like, that's ah. awful. Yeah. She, you could have died. Yeah, it was really funny though. Yeah. It was really funny. Are you sure Shauna is your friend? Well, another trick she played, like, she poisoned my food and I died. Yeah, that's... Kind is that of, weird? I died? Yeah, poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Poison isn't a prank. It's a crime. It's a crime. Yeah. Yeah. She pulled this other prank where, like, the, the brakes on my car didn't work. And I couldn't stop. Yeah, I think you want to get yourself a little restraining order again. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, that's that. And now that's, she's serving life in prison for killing someone. Well, that's fine. Then maybe she's not my friend. Uh, I don't know. She's not your friend. I, the circle thing I thought was funny though. I thought it was. Funny. No, man. <laughs> no, it was bad news. <laughs> no, that's bad. All right, well, all right. I was once uh, scuba diving and my tank ran out of air. What'd you do? Uh, dr I drowned. <laughs> Oh my God, you're a ghost. Yeah, yeah, I am a ghost, and this is there's a basement, a robot. and there's a robot skeleton over there. Yeah, happy Halloween. Uh, the problem with this show is you get too comfortable, and you forget that you're actually on TV. Like, I'm just having all a, the time. I'm just having a conversation, like, joking around, and I realize, like, I should be trying to entertain these No, these no, don't. If, to, if you start trying to entertain them, you're going to look odd. Okay. Yeah, right, because right, great. I don't give a crying. Uh, <laughs> And I think people appreciate that. You yeah. know that, that, that you don't care. Yeah, well, it's not that I don't care. It's just that, look, they, I know they have other entertainment options, and I'm right. not about to be needy and grabby about it. You want to watch something else? On you go. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's okay. You should do that when you're promoting a movie. Well, Talk about other care. people's movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like probably. the Lion King's out, I bet you'd like Oh, that. yeah, you know what? I'll say this. We lost to the Lion King this weekend. Yeah, and it's the Lion King. We, but, yeah, but it was so funny because they send you the reports of, like, how much movie or how much money your movie made. Yeah. And it says, like, week number one next yeah. to our movie because our first week out. And the Lion King, who beat us by, like, a little bit, it wrote, week number 902. Wow. <laughs> so we lost to a 902-week-old movie. Yeah, but it's... it's the Lion King, man. And we were competing with a lion and a dolphin. Oh, yeah, the other... Uh, the yeah. other movie was us and a lion and a dolphin. And my brother, I'm like, I'm like, are you going to take your kids to go see Lion King? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, it's on... You're, I'm looking at it on your shelf right now on DVD. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's but it's 3D now, man. It's That's 3D. Crazy. No, but it's 3D. It's 3D. What? Yeah, when he holds the, the thing up, Simba, like that, when he holds up, it'll be right in your face, man! <laughs> It's like, I don't want to connect with my kids so badly. I'm going to go see a movie I've seen 900 times. It's like you have kids already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You understand. Oh, absolutely. I have two kids. I'm like, yeah, you are, you little bastard. So anyway, the Lion King again. 
Also, can you want to watch movies over and over again? Yeah, they do. Oh, they do, yeah. They're yeah. so dumb. It's about time you had kids. <laughs> They are, they are a little dumb. They're yeah, so dumb. Right. They don't know anything. Oh, tell you, babies are the best. You can go, like, wave keys, yeah. and they're like, ah, that's awesome. <laughs> play fetch? Yeah, no, no. You don't play fetch with your kid at all? A little bit, you know. I have two nephews. It's like the best kid game you should, ever. You should have kids now. You're, what, you're like 50? I'm it's about, time. I'm 68 years old. 68 years yeah. old? Yeah. I have uh, reverse Benjamin Button disease. No, I have Benjamin Button disease. Yeah, reverse Benjamin Button. Yeah, no, I have, I have Benjamin Button. That's when you look really... Young when you're when young. When you're really young. And, and then old when you're old, yeah. I've, I've definitely got reverse Benjamin you Button. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. got reverse, reverse Benjamin I've got reverse... Yeah, I've got, I think what I've got is a, I've got a reach around Benjamin Button. Yeah. <laughs> I've reached... <laughs> what does that mean? He reached man. around him, he yeah, went around him. I went around and came around the other Give side. Give the guy a break. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, listen, we're Speaking of reaching around oh, Benjamin yeah. Button, uh, how are you? Oh, I'm good, man. I'm good. <laughs> We're, we're actually out of time, Jonah. Do you want to you wanna do a, an awkward pause? Or you want to um, uh, do the mouth organ? Or do you want to go for the big cash prize? Uh, I want to go for the big cash prize. Big cash prize, all right. Okay. Well, here's the thing. We, the, the big cash prize was um, uh, 50 bucks in singles. Okay. Uh, which, which is, I, I, as I'm sure you admit, even a big movie to a big movie star, that's a lot of money. But I'll I, take 50 bucks in singles right now. Yeah, yeah. Crazy? But, but, that's crazy. But, but that's I've awesome. decided that, you know, your movie's doing pretty well, and uh, you're pretty rich, so we'll pay for a dollar. Okay. <laughs> what? No, that sucks. I'd rather go, I, I want to go for the big cash prize. All right, then, 50, $50 in singles. 51s, singles. we'll make it rain if we All right, I'll make, it, I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain, but you have to answer one question. It's a pretty tough question. Okay. All right. You think you're up to it? I'm up for it. Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Okay. The capital city of Iceland is Reykjavik. Okay. Okay. How tall is Regis Philbin? <laughs> Two foot eight inches. It's close. <laughs> is it close enough? Okay, a real guess yeah. for Regis. Yeah. Five foot eight inches. Oh, so close. What? Five five, isn't he? Yeah, five five. But, but, we'll, we'll get, no, you can, no. <laughs> See that, that, here's a tip, we'll do an infomercial how to succeed in Hollywood. If you don't actually get the money, just take it. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you doing? You look great. Thanks. I'm such a douche in that clip. No! <laughs> not bad. But you play yourself in the movie, yeah. but you're not a douche. So. I, well, you know, arguable. A little you know, bit. I mean, I, a little I, bit of a douche. Um, but no, I, I hope I'm not a douche. But I, uh, we play these really... <laughs> crummy versions of ourselves and it's kind of basically making fun of how lame actors are and if there was an apocalypse we'd all just bitch and complain the entire time you know like, and, sounds uh, like a documentary yeah. to me my <laughs> but, oh actors are lovely actors do they believe that children are the future yeah no yeah we'll let them guide and lead the yeah, way yeah all yeah. That. yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> but uh, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg made this movie and it's so crazy and so funny and I'm just so psyched it was their first movie they directed so it's oh, really, cool. really yeah oh that's nice so everybody's off the pot now then huh? <laughs> well, well, everyone's apparently, getting a little apparently. older and made a little money like you know what forget it <laughs> yeah now we get paid to pretend we smoke pot right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no you can't make movies and smoke pot at this well not not big giant movies where the world ends maybe like a little one like <laughs> do do that yeah you know, but. if the movie was called like couch and tv maybe right, you could right, make right, it right. but i don't know no you're you're done with all that that no, one aren't? sounded better in my head it, it, it's yeah. gonna get funnier as as time goes on that happens a lot you smell really good <laughs> thank you yeah no like much. really like it's really really it's intoxicating good, it's really kind yeah, of no. <laughs> it's kind of wonderful <laughs> thanks i um it's is it a uh, special thing it, it's just my pheromones craig maybe wow. you're just really attracted to me 
And you haven't figured that out. Well, I, I don't mind. I mean, I have an open mind to all forms of human interaction. No, I and heard I, that, I heard that. Yeah, it. yeah, absolutely. And, I, and, I, and I'm just like, wow, you know, no, I, I really it. want you. Come over. <laughs> <laughs> Are we dating? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are now. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, no, cool. Okay, no, it's cool. Um, so I can change my Facebook thing to in a relationship? Yeah, with yeah. Okay. Are you on Facebook? No. no. <laughs> what about the Tweety? You on the Tweety? I'm on the Tweety Bird. Um, I, 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 uh, I don't do it that frequently, but... Um, and what about Twitter? Did you do that? Uh, see what I did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you yeah. just broke up with me right there. Yeah. Did you see that? Listen, I just think... Like we're going in different directions. Yeah, right? it's I get not it. like personal. You know, I get it. You're a great guy. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, it's not so weird. A um, little bit. Are you going to the uh, E3 uh, thing? What's the, that? The gamer thing. Are you a gamer? Or are you well, a, like? I, uh, I haven't played video games in a while. Like I, I stopped around. The same time you stopped pop? Uh, no, no. Yeah, no. Maybe. I stopped around like the Genesis um, era. Oh, man, that's after Or, like, me. PlayStation 2, maybe. Oh, I've got a PlayStation, but yeah. I just put DVDs of, uh, like, Matlock and stuff in <laughs> Of my movies. <laughs> you just put my movies on and yeah, just yeah, kind of, yeah, like, like oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish you could combine PlayStation with the actual movies you were, and then play movies on the... on the. That'd be awesome. I think they have video games based on movies, Craig. No, but what I'm saying is... I think you, you might actually you have play, your dream come true. You, you Really? Yeah. So what, what if we it was... We made a movie together called How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, yeah. And there's That's a video game of that. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can you can yeah. be your own character probably. I think I will. I gotta go. Like, <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> hey, uh, have you have you been working on the new one? I've been working on it. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to do my first recording session. All right. Um, yeah. So they put you back in there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> and this is like a really abstract way of them telling me I'm not in the second no, movie. No, no, you're no. <laughs> you're in the second movie. Did you read the... the I don't read the whole script. I just I read never, my bits. Yeah, they just give you the lines yeah. that you're saying, and it's completely out of context. And they mostly ask you just to yell. I don't know about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. So you're yelling these things like, there's a dragon over there. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, quick, like, get your thing over here. Oh, for heaven's sake, asterisk. And all that, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if there's an asterisk in it, but I shout that anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, but yeah. here's the thing, though. If you do that, when I saw the movie, when we were at the premiere and yeah. watched the movie, I, at the end, I was like, oh, I didn't know that happened. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, in my head, I was like, none of this stuff made any sense that I said, so this movie's probably going to suck. Right. And then I watched it. I was like, they made a good movie. It's really good, really, yeah. They really, like... Put the puzzle together at the end there. And, and you know Jeffrey Katzenberg? Yeah. Like, Genius. Like, G head of, like, probably, like, the world. The world. Yeah, right. Yeah. So when we were doing the press junket for it, I was in my little room in the hotel, like uh -huh. I was having lunch, and he came into my room, and he said, uh, do, you, do you mind if I sit here and have lunch? They haven't got lunch for me. And I was like, no, get out. <laughs> No, he sat down and we had lunch together. There's a subway down the street. Yeah, now. yeah. I was like, I was yeah. he's very friendly. Yeah, he's great. I guess if you're that powerful, you can be I mean, friendly. he's our boss, so you kind of have to say that. Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. But I love him, genuinely. Yeah, no, I... You seemed a little insincere for a moment there. <laughs> I'm not going to call you out. You, that was one of the things, like, my boss is cool when I was you're saying, I You're outmaneuvering like me right now! Ever since we broke up, you've been a nightmare No, to no, 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 but here's, <laughs> but here's the thing. I understand how Hollywood works, and I know if I'm the squeaky wheel, I'll get oiled, right. while the good guy like you gets fired. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works! Check! <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, it's true. That's what happens. You've got to behave like a complete jerk in order to get ahead. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. I don't think so. I think those days are gone. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Ask... Well, what do you guys think? <laughs> They're, they're, they're in town from Cincinnati on a oh, big okay, birthday cool. thing. That's awesome. You ever been to Cincinnati? I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> like not, you know, like no, not, that's fine. Not, that's fine. No, you're whatever. missing out. You're missing. I'm sure it's awesome. It's not, know, bad. It's not bad. Not bad. What about Cleveland? You been there? I have not. No. Where the hell have you been then? I've been um, in this studio and right. in the hospital I was born in. And I've lived here ever since <laughs> in this studio. <laughs> So you were born in a hospital, eh, swanky yeah, pants? Yeah. yeah. Old fancy hospital. Old Hill. fancy hospital, Mr. <laughs> Upturn. Yeah. Mr. Oh, Cleanliness. You weren't born in a hospital? I wasn't. No. Oh, okay. I was born in the in a traveling show. <laughs> there we go. And every night the man would come around and lay the money down. I just imagine you like in a little cage next to Pinocchio, like in one of those. 
<laughs> exactly what happened. One day I'm going to America. <laughs> That's true. We got to take a break. Uh, That's wanna, unfortunate. Want to throw to a commercial break? Go ahead. I'd like to take this moment um, <laughs> to go to a commercial. Very good. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Jonah Hill, who uh, just broke up with me. Yeah. <laughs> During the commercial break, it was kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Listen, um, you're a really nice guy and everything. I just don't... It's like time. I don't have enough time for a talk show host boyfriend right now. It's just it's like, you know... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What, what are I you just, looking for in a boyfriend, I, you know, then? I, I dated... <laughs> I just, I can't help myself. I just uh, talk show you anyway. I, I can't. know. I just, it's like we're at home and it's like, stop interviewing me, Craig. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to. So, like how was it in the kitchen? Did you enjoy yourself in the kitchen? What was yeah. in the refrigerator? Yeah. Did you like and what was it like making the meal? Did you have fun making the yeah, meal? Was yeah. That? yeah. No. God, I hate myself. Let's just have sex and call it a day. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, like. Yeah. How are, you, how are you doing otherwise? I mean, what is that smell you're wearing? Is that for, for real? Uh, for, is that one of those things with <laughs> I make it in my bathtub. Really? Um, yeah. It's I just mean, a it, bunch it, of berries and different things I mash around. Yeah. Do you get into the berries and rub them against? Yeah. It's like those guys who make wine in uh, Italy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The wine winerians. Yeah, yeah winerians, yeah. yeah. Winonas. Winona riders. Winona riders, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what We're that 10 means. years old, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, but it's a good smell. <laughs> yeah, it is. Do you, do, you, do you enjoy wine? Do I like wine? Yeah. Um, I, the only wine I was ever able to enjoy was white wine, and I felt very feminine ordering it, so I stopped. <laughs> Why? Um, a lot well, of people, that's I was that's wearing a wig and makeup the whole time, so maybe that contributed to it a little bit. <laughs> Is there know. any way you could enjoy it? Well, yeah. Okay, well, let's not love all the people. Listen, was I wearing lipstick and a full makeup and a hot red dress? Yes. Did I feel feminine? Yes. Um, Mission accomplished then, yes, surely. Exactly. I did okay. All right. Well, we got to go. Um, Listen, it was a great relationship. I wish you all the best. And, and I wish uh, you the exact same. Jonah Hill, everybody. We have a right. Give her a near beer. A near beer? Yeah. Tastes like beer, but it doesn't give it doesn't have the alcohol. Yeah, every time I'm near beer though. <laughs> I get I'm start looking for some near cocaine and, and some maybe get some near whiskey. <laughs>